Hello everyone. So today we will listen to the story of the sage and the snake. A black cobra was the terror of a village. Many people had lost their lives because of his poisonous bite. The people in the village were so much frightened of him that many of them even left the village forever. After darkness, no one in the village dared to move out of his house. The people of the village always felt insecure. They were unable to enjoy their lives under the constant threat of the black cobra. One day, a great sage came to that village. He saw the plight of the people because of the black cobra. The sage took pity on the villagers and decided to help them out. The sage went near the hole of the snake. When the snake heard the footsteps of a person, he came out in anger hissing ferociously but so was the spiritual power of the sage that the horrifying cobra calmed down immediately the sage preached the cobra the right ways and asked him not to bite anyone then onwards After coming in contact of the sage, the cobra was changed completely. He promised the sage that he would be well behaved and would never trouble others. The villagers thanked the sage for transforming the horrifying snake. They were no more threatened. After few days, the sage left the village and went to some other place the sage moved from one place to other serving the poor and needy after a month the sage happened to pass through the same village he saw a strange sight there the people were pelting stones at the black cobra once who was the terror of the village was calmly tolerating the pain and the humiliation in the hands of the villagers even the small children were not hesitant of hitting the cobra the snake was injured and was bleeding profusely the sage scolded the villagers seeing the sage the villagers dropped their stones and went to their houses. The snake pleaded with the sage, O oh great sage, once you preached me not to trouble others. Since then, I followed your path and stopped biting others. Once the villagers realized that I am harmless, they started troubling me. Now you tell me, wasn't I right earlier? The sage said, No, you were not right when you were troubling others. And now also you are not right when you are tolerating everything quietly. I stopped you from biting people, but I did not stop you from striking in your defense. You have every right to protect yourself from humiliation and injury. So here, the moral of the story is, do not harm others and do not allow others to harm you. Hope you liked the story. Give us a like and subscribe. Also, click the bell button for the next story. You take care now. I will see you back soon. Bye-bye.